Dear students, you are welcome in the education department at Jihad Association. Our lesson today is Jumana al Husseini. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. In this session, we have three objectives. We will identify vocabulary words. We will read Jumana al Husseini interview. And finally, we will answer comprehension questions about it. In the Explore section, we talked a little bit about Mahmoud Darwij, who is a Palestinian writer. In this session, we are going to take about a new famous person who is called Juman al Husseini. Before we start, let's see some vocabulary words. What is this picture is showing? Yes, it is a painter. A painter is an artist who draws and paints pictures. Let's see the second picture. Yes, it is a sculpture. A sculpture is a statue made from wood, stone or clay. The final picture. It is a sculptor. A sculptor is an artist who makes sculptures. Now, we will introduce Juman al Husseini. She is a famous Palestinian painter and sculptor. She was born on April 2, 1931, in Jerusalem. She studied political science at the university in Beirut. One of her teachers encouraged her to work on art. So, she first specialized in painting. Later, she began making sculptures and ceramics. We will now read the interview that a reporter made with Juman al Husseini. The reporter said, Dear viewers, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Juman al Husseini. She is a famous Palestinian painter and sculptor. She was born on April 2, 1931, in Jerusalem. Have you always been interested in arts, Mrs. Al Husseini? Jumana said, Yes, but only as a hobby in my childhood. Then, when I studied political science at the university in Beirut, I also took courses in fine arts. So I did. I first specialized in paintings. Later, I began to create sculptures and ceramics. The reporter said, And now you are very famous. Tell us a little about your paintings. Jumana replied, Many of my paintings are about my childhood memories of Palestine. They are about the birds the flowers, the butterflies, and the greenery. They are about the windows and doors and the skies of Palestine. My early paintings were bright but with minimal coloring. I wanted them to be dreamlike. The reporter then said, Later, you also painted abstract images Jumana replied, Yes, I think that abstract work can be very powerful. The reporter replied, I heard that you also work in embroidery. Is that true? Jumana said, Yes, I learned this craft from my mother in embroidery and tapestry. I can use the patterns and designs of all Palestine costumes. The reporter said, You have exhibited your work all around the world. 
People have seen your art in the Arab countries, as well as in London, Paris, New York, Tokyo, Roma, Stockholm, and many other cities. You have also received awards for your work. Jumana said, Yes, in 1999, I received the Palestine Award for the Visual Arts. The reporter said, Thank you for being with us today. Jumana replied, My pleasure. After we read the interview that was made with Jumana al Husseini, let's, re let's read and then answer the following comprehension questions. The first one, who is Juman al Husseini? Yes, she is a famous Palestinian painter and a sculptor. The second one, when was she born? She was born on April 2, 1931. Where was she born? She was born in Jerusalem in Palestine. Let's continue and then answer. What courses did she take? She took courses in fine arts. What were her paintings about? They are about the birds, the flowers, the butterflies and the greenery. They are about the windows and doors and the skies of Palestine. This is the end of our session today. If you have any questions in the worksheet, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks for watching. If you like this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all updates.